In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Stabilo Grow fountain pen. I'll go over the specs, I will do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helped out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Stabilo Grow fountain pen. I picked this up at a department store in Frankfurt earlier this year, and it just kind of had an interesting look, so I wanted to do a review of it. I have actually really been enjoying this pen. It has a very, very smooth medium nib. I believe they only come in medium. Maybe they come in fine, but I can't really find details about the, the nib options looking at the Stabilo website. They do come in a couple of different colors. This is moss green and oak. And this is like a quote unquote eco pen. It's supposed to be carbon neutral. It's FSC certified German oak here. And the grip section is bioplastic, whatever that means. And the cap is made out of like a recycled waste product. Like I think 30% of this cap is made from sunflower seed hole, whatever that is. It's an interesting concept. These pens cost, I think the retail price is around $27. I've seen them on Amazon from 20 to about $25. So it's not the cheapest pen. They are made in Germany and it has a really nice wet nib, a very forgiving nib. Now let's walk through the pen here. So I have to say looks wise, this isn't a particularly attractive pen, not gonna lie. We have three very distinct sections here. We have the, the wood part, which tapers towards sort of a, a rounded flat end. And then we have the accent color here in this moss green. And then we have the black plastic clip, which if we look at the material up close a little bit, you can see these kind of inclusions sort of showing that it's recycled. It does say Germany. And then you have these two little indentations on the side, which kind of follow the shape of the cap, at least at, at this end. And then we have this very long, ugly clip. It's flat, very square. You know, it's a stamped metal. It doesn't feel super high quality, but you know, it has some springiness to it. And on the top, we have the Stabilo Swan. Not a very good looking pen, I have to say. I will also point out that I have a huge crack in this. I don't know if that's going to be a problem. So far it hasn't been, but definitely could potentially be an issue, especially as this grows, no pen intended. Now taking off the cap, it does post quite nicely on the back, very secure. We have a sort of, it is a triangular grip section, kind of like a Lummi Safari. There's more spacing in between each of the, the flat sides. And then you also have these little kind of like bullet shaped things here, which is what grabs onto the cap there. And then we have the nib, Stabilo, and it's kind of a Safari-ish looking nib. It's got kind of like a triangle shape to it almost. No breather hole and we have a plastic feed here. It's a big grip section, so it's pretty comfortable. This is it with a standard short international cartridge. Comes with one cartridge. There's no converter or anything. Now, in terms of size and weight, it's quite a, it's a big pen, I would say. Uh, we're looking at about 156 capped, uncapped. Looking at 140, or sorry, 136, 137, and then posted. This is a good pen for posting. About 178, 177. So, yeah, it is quite has quite a nice balance to it. I can't really easily give you a, a grip section measurement. I seem to have misplaced my safaris, so we'll do it with the clear one. This is definitely fatter than the safari grip section and the safari is rounded on the bottom whereas this is flat i actually almost think this is more comfortable and it is thicker so it's um a pretty good usable pen here now in terms of 
I guess we can do the barrel diameter, might as well. 15 centimeters, so pretty chunky pen here. 18.4 grams, that's pretty lightweight. You're not gonna confuse it for a Bic, but it's quite light. And then 11.6 grams, uh, and that's with a pretty full cartridge. It's a comfortable pen. Not a good looking pen, but it's quite comfortable. In terms of size, Safari 149. It's taller than both of these pens by a good amount. And here it is with a Pelican M620, which is the M600 size. This is a big, big pen. So for the writing sample, I'm going to be using a Paper Mind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. These notebooks are excellent with fountain pens. And for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Stabilo Grow in a medium. And this is Stabilo Blue. I'm assuming that's what it's called. This is the blue cartridge that came in the pen. Nice wet ink flow here and very smooth, very enjoyable. I put the cartridge in this and it started writing right away. Now fast writing. Zero performance issues. It keeps up with everything you throw at it. It's really really good I think no issues at all it's a pretty firm nib there's like a, sp a bit of springiness to it but in terms of line variation it's very very little now it, it can write at a pretty high angle which is great it is got quite a strong ball on the end of the the tip here in terms of reverse writing you know, it's not comfortable because of the triangular shaped grip section. It's a bit scratchy, but it is noticeably thinner. It seems like I can do it actually relatively well, but it's not the smoothest. But that's pretty much it. The performance of this pen is excellent. So what are my pros and cons for the Stabilo Grow fountain pen? I think it's really interesting that this is a carbon neutral fountain pen. I'm not aware of other carbon neutral fountain pens. So I, I like the concept. I like that this is an affordable pen at around $25, and it has a very excellent, comfortable triangular grip section. I think I like this a bit better than the Safari. In terms of the comfort of the grip section, it's a bit thicker. It feels really nice. I do like the wood on the pen. I think that adds some visual interest, and I like the really very smooth, very forgiving medium nib on this pen. I think it works really, really nicely. In terms of cons, I think this is a pretty ugly pen, pretty unattractive item, to be honest. I also don't like that I have a big crack in the wood portion of this pen. I don't know if that's going to become a problem in the future. Maybe I just got a bad one, but that doesn't really make me think that this is going to last very long. So, it's carbon neutral, which I guess is good, but if I have to throw this in the trash, that's not great, probably. I don't know, maybe the materials are all recyclable. I'm not exactly sure how that would work, but that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen, paper, and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much, and until next time.